Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael, on this hump day. Today we are doing legs and chest. And if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I've kind of changed up my routine a little bit this week. So Monday we hit legs and chest. Tuesday we hit uh, something and something. Oh, Tuesday I did deadlifts and I was going to do shoulders, but just didn't feel like it. And today we're back on legs and chest. Tomorrow will be deadlifts again. And then Friday will be kind of a uh, arm day and maybe a shoulder day. So uh, just kind of changing things up this week. See how it goes. See how I like it. And uh, um, yeah, so you know, it's just time to change things up a little bit. So uh, here I'm doing Smith Machine squats today instead of free weight. Uh, Monday I did the free weight squats. And as you can tell, I get to go way, way, way deeper here with my Smith Machine squats than I do free weights. I just don't have the mobility, I don't have the balance, I don't have the structure, I don't have the talent that it takes to do a really good, proper free weight squat. And uh, so now we're going up a little bit here. And uh, this here is 107 pounds. That's right, folks. That bar and little carriages that go on the guide rods there, they're all welded together. And that equals up to 57 pounds. I know, I know. I get the people out there. But Mike, uh, that bar on Smith Machines only weighs about 15 or 20 pounds, buddy. Well, not on this Smith, uh, not on this Smith Machine. Uh, this Smith Machine is true weight. Uh, what you're talking about is a Smith machine that has a counterbalance to it, which means there's some cables attached to the bar, and sometimes it's internally routed, and there's weight distribu There's little weights that kind of weight it and uh, pull up on it and relieve a lot of the uh, the the actual weight of the bar. This this Smith machine is just straight up, uh, you know, it's old school. It's not all fancy schmancy and. Uh, so here we're up to 147, and uh, with the bar weighing 57 pounds, it throws the weights off a little bit weird, so, you know. And, and as many times as I do this, I have to uh, calculate what I'm doing every single time. N number one, I suck at math, and I realize it's only like 12 pounds difference from a standard barbell setup, but my brain don't calculate all that and then I'll, I always have to write everything down I got pages of the same equations wrote down uh, for the past two years so anyway right here we're going up to looks like 197 possibly uh, the bar is 57 there's a 45 on each end and a 25 on each end well, that might be 147 I don't know what that is and that's that's 197 I don't know don't quote me, guys. Don't quote me. But I'm pretty close. So you can tell well, whenever I do these, I get to go way, way past parallel. I really get a, a good workout, and I really enjoy doing these. If you want to get a good leg workout, I suggest using the Smith machine. And if you have horrible range of motion and just can't do a proper squat, even, you know, just a parallel on free weight, and you can't do it with ease. I also suggest uh, using the Smith machine. They're just really good. Now this here, I believe I went up, and uh, this is 287. And uh, I did a set of 237, and I thought I hit record on the phone, but I guess I did not, so we didn't get to see that. But uh, I pushed out a good set of uh, 237 for three, uh, just before this. And this here's 287. I think I get two reps here. Look at that, down nice and low. Boy, it's a struggle right there. But, that's the way it goes. That's how you know you're doing something. Right here, we're doing flat bench again. Uh, just like we did Monday. And um, I'm working on my flat bench, and that's what I'm going to focus on mostly. Uh, here for, you know, until I decide to switch things back up. So, with this here, we got the standard 135 starting out with. And, uh... It's pretty standard uh, to start out with that. A lot of times, you know, some people warm up with the bar and maybe a little less weight and what have you. And I have before, but usually 135 is where I start. And uh, so I think this is 527 pounds. 
No, probably not. It's probably not that. Probably not that much. It's 185, guys. It's 45 on each end, and 25 on each end, and the bar is 20. Uh, 25, and the bar is uh, 45. That's 185. We're gonna push out a few reps here. Uh, whenever I started this workout, I thought, well, I'll, I'll make this chest day kind of more a rep day, and just stick with weights I can get, you know, maybe 10 reps, uh, 10 reps with. But uh, that didn't work out. I go up a little heavy. And it's hard. It's hard not to do that. Once you get used to going up heavy, it's kind of difficult to stay in the lower weights. And uh, I wish I could make myself. And it's, it's, you know, it's hit and miss with me on that one. So here we are at 225. We got 45s on each end. Bar is 45. 220, 225 here. We're going to get a good uh, set here. I felt pretty good. I was kind of pumped today. I felt pretty good, uh, which is a nice feeling because uh, here lately I've, I've been like, not feeling really uh, enthused and uh, not feeling like myself. So uh, this set here, you know, it, it really set me up and... Uh, I felt good about it. Uh, anytime you can do 225 over 10 reps and uh, feel good about it, that you know makes you feel good. I'm struggling. I think the most I've done with 225 is maybe 22, 20 something, 22 maybe, 21, 22, something like that. Oh, ooh, I gotta celebrate right there. Oh my God, we got a special guest. Who is that? That is my oldest granddaughter. Lil Miss Meadow. That's who that was. She had to come in there and show me how it's done. You might see her again later in the video. So right here, guys, we're laying down with 275. That's 245 is a 25 and the bar is 45. We'll get a we'll get a good little set here. Um, 275 I have done for 10 reps, but I'm not. You know, wasn't feeling quite 10 repish today on it. I do get a good six reps here. Also, keep in mind, I didn't really eat a whole lot today. Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm not going to overeat and make myself just feel nauseous. Just trying to stay stronger and put on weight and all that stuff. I just, I'm having a hard time doing that and it's been bothering me for a while. So, and here we go. Like I said, we're going on up to... 315, that's 345s and the bar is 45. So we've got 315. We'll probably get about 20, 30 reps. Nah, probably not that many. We'll probably get about, I don't know, probably three. That's not my best on this either. I think I've done about seven, maybe seven reps or something like that for 315. But like I said, you know, things change. And, uh, we're not always our strongest, guys. Sometimes things change. We threw some 10s on, so that makes it 335. This is where I'll stop at. I'm, I'm not going to go any heavier. And uh, I don't work my way back down or anything. I just stop right here at my last set. But guys, I hope I give you a little inspiration to do something good for yourself inside and out. If not lifting weights, doing something. I walk every day. I spin on the bike every day. I try to eat healthy. Uh, six days a week, I give myself one cheat day. And half the time I end up eating pretty healthy on that day. So guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And don't forget, get up, get out, get ran, do it to it. Now here we go, there's our special guest. She is wearing it out. Look at that. I'm having to coach her though, man. I'm having to yell at her a little bit. I gotta get her I gotta get her pumped up. She's like grandpa. Gotta get that pump going. Alright, and here's my workout, guys. Have a good day. We'll see you later. And uh, be awesome, guys. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it.